Hello, I'm Jonathan Sheikh Miller, Global Content and PR Lead at ProServe, and I'm joined by Angus Roger, General Manager Abu Dhabi, to talk over the details of our global announcement concerning the acquisition of Dron and Dixon's Middle East business. So Angus, congratulations on that acquisition. And firstly, could you tell me more about them, what they do and where their specific expertise lies? Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. It uh, certainly is an exciting, uh, exciting acquisition for us out here in the Middle East. So uh, John and Dixon Middle East expertise uh, and experience really lie uh, in the supply and maintenance of hazardous area electrical equipment. So they have a great uh, breadth and depth of knowledge and experience uh, with electrical engineering um, and wholesale product supply, uh, as well as service, uh, complex service technician offering um, in and around the hazardous area electrical space. Okay, so it sounds like it's an interesting array of abilities there. Um, I guess it's fair to say that's going to really broaden our service offering out there. Yes, yeah, certainly will. We, um, we have a, a significant resource pool uh, of really experienced uh, hydraulic uh, service technicians. Um, and, and we were really planning on, on moving into the electrical space more. Um, over time organically through through normal recruitment. But we we saw this, this um, opportunity uh, to acquire John Dixon and it's given us a great leapfrog into adding some significant experience uh, in the electrical space and, and more specifically in the hazardous area um, electrical space to our team. So it's really allowed us to broaden uh, the offering that we're able to provide to our uh, to our partners here in the, in the Middle East region. That's it. Really uh, interesting point you make, and so, something that you've spoken about specifically before is ProServe's reputation for bandwidth. And I guess this, these skills complementing what you already have, that's going to widen it even further, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's correct, Jonathan. We, you know, we've spoken a lot, and we speak a lot to our partners here in in the region, uh, some of the, the major operating companies here, um, and we have the the conversations with them around the areas that they have felt they need um, additional support. Um, and the areas that they would benefit from ProServe style of service quality. Um, and one of those areas is around electrical, um, electrical expertise, hazardous area expertise. So we've, we've felt that by adding the John Dixon uh, Middle East team uh, into the ProServe Al Badi team here in, in Abu Dhabi, um, it's going to give us that great ability to offer the wider package and the fuller package to our, to our partners here in the region. Um, we speak to them a lot about our our offering of service and maintenance and upgrade that we we have and we will either visit the site and, and do service and maintenance at site on the installed controls related equipment um, or we'll bring that to our service center of excellence in Abu Dhabi um, for retrofit or upgrade um, and if need be uh, we will replace and, and, and manufacture new equipment um, to replace that old and aging infrastructure um, offshore or onshore at site. So by having this additional um, bandwidth, did you say, um, now increasing our electrical and hazardous area capability and expertise, it's going to allow us to package our offering even more extensively um, to, to the, the major operators in the region, um, still with the ProServe service quality approach. Well, you mentioned that extensive uh, selection of, uh, of, of capabilities that we have. Um, a lot of our work has, if you like, the wheelhouse of our work has been very much mm. sort of upstream, offshore as well. Um, obviously, we, you know, we can work across a number of different areas. But would you say that those particular uh, specific capabilities that the new acquisition brings in could even broaden our options further down the supply chain? Yes, yeah, certainly. And um, so, so, yeah, to build exactly on that, Jonathan, the John Dixon have some existing um, existing uh, strong relationships with key suppliers um, and manufacturers of, of hazardous area um, components and equipment um, and are currently working in more of the midstream, uh, downstream and upstream kind of areas, so across the full breadth um, to gas processing uh, and in the marine space as well. So this is certainly something that we feel is going to complement uh, the areas of the market that we're currently working working in uh, and enable us to leverage uh, leverage this combined new offering uh, to expand us into uh, into some of those midstream uh, and downstream parts of the parts of the industry that's quite a dynamic template that you sort of paint mm. there actually as a picture um 
Well, finally, last question. Um, you personally obviously have had a part, a big part to play in this in this deal, and you've probably been working very hard on this over recent weeks and months. You've been leading the Abu Dhabi business now for the past 18 months, and obviously a large part of that has been the backdrop has been COVID-19. Um, mm. Yet, despite those challenges, the UAE business has really been moving on quite proactively, hasn't it? Yeah, it certainly has. Um, when I joined out in uh, joined the Abu Dhabi uh, team in January uh, 2020, the, the team out here, an absolute fantastic uh, team, uh, incredible depth of knowledge, um, youth and experience combined, uh, and a really energetic environment to work within. Um, and we had just moved into our um, into our new global service center of excellence, which is based in Musafa uh, in Abu Dhabi, after some significant investment. Um, on our part. So we had a great platform to build from. Um, and despite the challenges uh, of COVID, down to the hard work of the team and, and working closely with our suppliers and partners, um, customers here in the region, we've we've seen some fantastic growth uh, in the UAE and across the Middle East over the past 18 months. So yes, COVID has been a challenge and it's been a challenge for, for, all, uh, for all who have been affected. Um, but we really have had a very strong 18 months or so uh, and the future it's very strong for us here in, in the UAE. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for that feedback, Angus. Uh, congratulations again on the acquisition thank and you. for your time. Thanks, Thanks Angus. Thank you, Jonathan.